All right, folks, welcome back. This is Bellatro 1.0. The full version of the game finally became available to everyone today. Um, and so here, what we're doing, we are about to enter hour five, hour five of our first run since the launch of the game. So to get you caught up on what's going on here, we are in anti 18. If we go to you know the blinds here, the previous boss that we just defeated, uh, 10 to the 26 was the score that was required. We ended up scoring, uh, this was 10 to the 56, so a little bit higher. Uh, we were able to pass that one. And what we're trying to do now is we're just trying to survive. This is endless mode. This is new to the full version of the game. You can just keep playing until you die, but you do have to compete with these ever increasing uh, score thresholds. And so that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to score as high as we can. We're trying to survive as long as we can. And the way that we're doing that, let's take a look at the technology that we've got. Uh, first thing we've got here, if I go to uh, you know the collection, decks, we're using a new deck, we're using the Plasma deck. Um, I said a little bit about this in the previous video, um, but basically the idea is uh, whatever your chips or mult, whichever number is bigger, then we're gonna take that number divide it in half so it's even between your chips and your molt and then now that we've divided it we're going to multiply those things together so kind of you know whatever molt you were getting before it becomes squared basically um, and that is part of how we're reaching you know these absurdly high scores uh, some other new pieces of technology uh, the deck we're using is all kings all kings of hearts uh, there's some reasons for that but uh, you know here we've got all of the cards are the same, you know, with slight variations. So some of these are steel cards with a red seal. Some of these have a purple seal. Purple seal giving us tarot cards when we discard them. Red seal giving us re-triggers. Either when they're held in hand is going to re-trigger that steel effect or potentially re-trigger some other effects. So for example, could be re-triggering a glass card with the red seal. The jokers that we're using, uh, first we've got the idol. This says, okay, the king of hearts, if we play it, every single one, every single king of hearts is going to give us two times molt. So if we play five kings of hearts, then that's two times two times two goes up to times 32 from just this one joker. Then on top of that, we have things like uh, sock and buskin is going to re-trigger all of our face cards so that is part of the reason that we're using the kings is because they're face cards so we can use sock and buskin here which means all of these times twos from the idol we can do it again and if i use you know dusk i get even more retriggerings i can do it again uh, with brainstorm and blueprint copying my idol giving me even more copies of that effect then you know that's going to uh you know reach rather high numbers or at least that's what the plan is this idol i will point out you know it says it changes card every round so you know it picks a different card the way that it does this is it picks a card that's actually in your deck and then you know that'll be the card and so if our deck is 100 percent all kings of hearts then this will always be king of hearts and so essentially what this is doing is if it gives times two molt to all of my cards, this is the same as turning all of my cards into glass, except I don't have to worry about them breaking. And these red seals are going to also re-trigger that times two or, you know, potentially more if I'm copying it with the blueprint and then also the brainstorm. Uh, we also have the hanging chad uh, gives us a re-trigger just on our first card. But if our first card you know, has this times two from the idol and the blueprint and the brainstorm, then this is giving us times eight molt here. Also, it's a negative card, so it doesn't really, uh, you know, cost us anything to hold on to it. And then finally, we have the campfire. Campfire is going to give us increasing amounts of molt uh, as we sell cards. It does reset at the end of the ante after we beat the boss blind, but you know, here if I buy this devil card and then sell it, then that's gonna upgrade this to 1.5. Notice here, because of 
all of these vouchers. One of the vouchers that we have reduces costs of cards in the shop. So I can buy this star for $1, I can sell the star for $1. So at the cost of nothing, uh, my campfire is already giving me times two and then could potentially get much higher than that. And so the plan, first thing that I wanna do is I wanna try to get the highest score that I can. And, you know, looking at the jokers that I have, I already have Brainstorm, I already have Blueprint, I already have Idol and Sock and Buskin. There isn't really any more jokers that would improve this, that would improve my score. So if I'm going to go for the high score, I might as well go for it now. You know, I don't need to wait. Um, I could potentially, if I saw a showman, I could replace this campfire with a showman and then using the showman uh, to get, you know, some either another blueprint or idol or, you know, some copy of these things. Um, the showman, that's the one that allows you to get copies of stuff. So that's potentially something that I can do. So maybe I, you know, might be interested in re-rolling to make that happen. Um, let's go ahead and while we're here in the shop, we'll go... I want the Celestial Pack to give me... Flush 5, the Eris Planet cards. Uh, so that's level 23 right here. Before I open the Celestial Pack, I'm going to re-roll in the shop a few times and you know pick up some Planet cards here because we know if I'm holding on to these Planet cards, the Celestial Packs will not have duplicates. And so I can use that to kind of manipulate what's gonna show up. Same thing with this Arcana Pack. If I open it now, there's not going to be any judgment in there. There's going to be no repeats. Uh, I do have in the shop both of the overstock vouchers, so I'm able to see four cards at a time, helping me dig for whatever it is that I might want. Let's go ahead and cycle through some stuff. So every time you know I see some consumable, I'm just going to buy it and then sell it. Growing my campfire here. Hierophant. I don't need, I'll just cycle through. I do want to hold the planets so that now here I've got four planet cards. This Jumbo Celestial Pack will have none of these four. Maybe it'll give me an Ares card. There's the one. It's only plus 40 chips. And so, you know, with already level 23, 24 here, uh, it's not going to give me that much more than I already have, but you know, every little bit helps, maybe. Uh, I can go ahead and sell these. Digging for more consumables, I don't really care that much what I get. So I passed over kind of quickly, there was a photograph. Photograph giving you times two on your first uh, face card. And so, you know, with all these re-triggers, re-trigger from Sock and Buskin, Dusk, and another Dusk, that could be times 16. Um, or if I've got the red seal, that could be times 32 on the one face card, just the first face card, you know, just like here with the Hanging Chad. Um, but this campfire, I think we can get it up even higher than that. I think we can get past times 30 with the campfire as we're just cycling through stuff that we see in the shop. Uh, I meant to do this. There we go. We already got up to times 8.5, and this is just the first shop of the ante. Um, as far as deck manipulation, as far as tarot cards that I'm actually looking for, uh, I've pretty much got the deck where I want it to be. You know, the purple ones, I'm going to discard those. The red ones, I'm going to hold on to those. Uh, the glass ones, I've been kind of holding on to, saving them for a special occasion. And I think the occasion is now. I think we're gonna to try to go for, you know, whatever the highest score that we can. So let's go ahead and make another of these steel cards into a glass card. And we'll push it to the next round. All right, so here 
Uh, in order to beat this boss, we're gonna need 10 to the 31st. Maybe not too bad. Uh, I do have this Dusk, and so if I want to get the Dusk triggering, I need to play all of my hands. I've got five hands, i got to play all of those. I do have here the Purple Seal, so let's make room for some Tarot cards. Uh, the thing that I want to do, I said I want to try to get the highest score that I can. I'm going to do it on the boss round. And so I'm going to use the first two rounds here, small blind, big blind, to build up my campfire. So I'm going to discard the glass card for now, and then we'll use the glass card when we get to the boss. And so maybe we'll do something like this. If I discard these, get three tarot cards. Uh, I don't need the devil. Emperor. All right, all of this is not needed discarding the glass cards all right here we go this i'm interested in uh, i do want the hermit for more money for more shop rerolls you know more stuff to buy and sell for the campfire um do i want to use the death i can either turn one of these purple cards into one of these red cards or turn one of the red ones into purple ones uh i think it's fine. I think it's about where I want it to be, the distribution, and so maybe I don't need this anymore. We've already done that. Now what I'm looking to do is draw into my red seal cards so I can play them. And now let's get this dusk going. So already there with a just a high card that's a trillion points trillion points with the high card no problem level three high card glass card i want to save so we'll play this What was that? Did we get 10 to the 14? That's uh, 100, 100 trillion, 10 trillion, who knows? Doesn't matter. All right, here we go. Five at a time, I will show you my flush five. And you can see on each card, there's a whole lot of stuff happening. So it's gonna take a while to process each one. Though luckily, uh, you know, it does get faster. There we go, 10 to the 53rd with no glass cards. All right, we'll keep an eye out for what happens with the glass ones. All right, with the standard packs, the thing that, thing that I've been looking for this whole time is a polychrome card. And at this point, maybe it's too late. You know, if I do get a polychrome card, it's probably not going to be a king of hearts. And if this idol picks a random card and happens to pick the card that's not a king of hearts, then uh, we die, right? Uh, you know, this needs to be king of hearts in order for us to score. So I am still gonna look. There is always a chance that you get a polychrome king of hearts. Only cost me three bucks if I wanna take a look here. But for the most part, I'm not expecting much. You know, even here, the gold seal or the red seal with the steel card, I already have that technology. So we can just pass there. Then I'm going to re-roll. So even though I have money saved up here and I can re-roll sort of a large number of times, um, I'm not gonna do all of my re-rolling in one shop, in the same shop. I'm gonna spread it out over multiple rounds. That way, you know, cause when you re-roll, it increases the cost. So, all right, we'll do the same kind of thing as last time, just picking up, buying, selling, consumables uh, here with the Wheel of Fortune, just to see. Eris Planet card, we'll take those. 
Other planet cards don't really matter. Hangman I don't need anymore. Uh, I don't need DNA to make copies of stuff. I already have the cards that I want. Well, with the exception of polychrome cards. Chariot I don't need. All my cards are already steel. You know, Troubadour is a possibility here. So Troubadour gives you extra hand size. Extra hand size means extra red steel cards. Um, but you can already see our campfire at uh, times 17. So maybe this, you know, this is the one that I would be selling is already bigger than whatever I would get from however many steel cards. And I think that's going to be it for this shop, I believe. Maybe I'll roll one more time. Like I said, I don't want to spread out the re-rolls. I don't want to spend too much money all in one shop. All right, let's make room for our purple seal cards so we can get more tarot cards. Glass cards, I'm going to save them for later. Death, I said that we don't need that anymore. We already have five glass cards, so I don't really need more than that. All right, before I discard here, and I just discard the one purple seal here, I'm going to play my hands, you know, so I do want to get the dusk going here. So I'm going to go ahead and play my cards first. And then discard after playing. So here I drew an extra purple seal, so I have an extra discard that I'm saving. Maybe here I can go purple, 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 and these glass ones. And then now for this final hand here, well, second to last hand. Get that one out of the way. Now for the actual final hand, here we go, flush five again. So I don't know if you saw it there, you know, we got up to 10 to the, you know, 25th, 26th or whatever. Um, and then the way the plasma deck works is you take that 10 to the 26th, divide it by two, multiply it by itself. So, you know, 26 plus 26, that's how we're able to get to this 10 to the 52nd, 53rd. Here's planet card, absolutely. The Arcana Packs, I'm just looking for money, so you know, maybe a Hermit here. Uh, I could get an Eris card, but you know, already at level 27, the difference between this 1200 chips or plus another 40 chips is not that much. The difference between this 94 molt and then plus another 3 molt is maybe not that much difference. Um, so I'm going to take the money for more rerolls, more. Uh, money to level up my campfire maybe I can still find uh, you know maybe an invisible joker could be useful or some negative joker could be useful second arcana pack the emperor will give us more cards to sell potentially so I could sell this death And let's just keep on rolling here. 
spending our money. Show me invisible. Show me some kind of interesting negative. You know, this uh, hanging chad negative was kind of a nice treat. Okay, we got the bean. So the bean, you know, plus five hand size. If all of those are, you know, red steel cards, each red steel card gives us times two. So this would be, you know, times 32 with the plus five hand size. Uh, we did already beat the big blind, and so we've got the boss coming up. So after this is the boss. This is the last shop opportunity that we have. So we'll stick with the campfire on times 30 here. Wheel of Fortune. Polychrome. Okay. We don't hate that. All right, do some more card shuffling here. Fool for another Eris card. I will hold on to this. You know, maybe I can get a Hermit. If not, I will use it. Polychrome bus. No thanks. Okay, let's... I want this fool to copy Eris, so let's do that. And let's use this Eris. And with the High Priestess, now when I use it, it won't give me an Eris. Um, actually, I'm gonna hold this. Mm, let's use it, there we go. Um, okay. I'm trying to get the highest score that I can this next round, so I'm going to spend a little bit more money than I have been in the past. You know, here spending $23 for a single reroll. And... Alright, let's not get crazy. Uh, there we go. You know, times 36, uh, maybe after I sell these times 38 on the campfire you know this is a good place to stop clubs are debuffed is not something that i care about what am i looking for i'm looking for as many glass cards as i can find so let's discard all of this stuff okay spin the wheel again got some more stuff to sell Pretty sure we'll get 40. Yeah. All right. Uh, I've got two glass cards. I've got some more stuff here to discard. Uh, chariot I don't need. I've got a backup glass card here if I don't end up drawing it. Uh, let's see here. If I go discard two... That gives me six cards left if I play with the Dusk. Yeah, this should be fine. Let's go ahead and play a card. Maybe I can draw another purple one. Maybe I don't need to draw another purple one because I'm holding on to this Justice card. Hermit, sure. Okay. So I have all of the glass that I need. There's potentially one more in the deck that I could draw into. And there's no more, uh, there's a few more purple ones in the deck. I wanna try to get rid of the purple ones if I can. I might not have a choice.
All right, for the final hand here, we've got one, two, three, four, five glass cards and a couple of steals. Uh, they're not going to do a whole lot, but, you know, they'll do a little bit. Now let's see how big we can go. All right, so 10 to the 35 molt, and then the plasma deck is going to double that. So 10 to the 35 times 10 to the 35, it gives us 10 to the 70th, however much that number is. That's it. I think that's as big as we can go. Wait, did we end up? We didn't even break any of our glass cards. You know, we could try to do that again if we want. Um, now, what are we trying to do? You know, we got basically what I feel is going to be the highest score that we can get, you know, if we don't get these uh, polychrome kings going. Um, so now what I'm interested in doing is just surviving as long as I can. And so this, we were just able to beat this 10 to the 31st in anti 18. And so maybe we can go anti 22, 23, you know, something like that. Let's find out. If I go here, my most played hand, you know, we started off the run playing flushes. Uh, we've played high card a couple of times as a way of activating our dusk here. If I take the telescope, it will potentially allow me to get more of those Eris cards. But we do run into this issue. You know, if I am trying to make my dusk happen, eventually this high card is going to overtake it. Maybe even in the next round, maybe even the ne next round, my high card will surpass my flush five. So this is not really going to help with finding the planet cards, but I am going to take it anyway. And so sort of the reason for that is, you know, once you have level 33 or, you know, once you even have like level 15 flush five or level 20 flush five, you get diminishing returns on your planet cards. And so each planet card is not in as impactful as the earlier ones. So I actually don't care if I don't ever see any more Eris cards. The reason I'm gonna take the telescope is because now if I'm looking at vouchers, I want to get things like, you know, the upgraded uh, paintbrush, you get the palette, gives you plus one hand size, that's something I'm interested in. Uh, lower reroll cost, that's something I'm interested in. The upgraded uh, crystal ball allows you to find spectral cards in regular arcana packs that's something that i'm interested in and so in order to remove the telescope from the voucher pool so i get something else different vouchers uh, i'm just going to buy the telescope all right uh i don't need this justice Arcana here, you know, maybe another wheel. Buffoon pack, maybe... Maybe invisible joker, I said, or maybe a showman, or maybe a negative joker. Um, I'm going to, since we just beat the boss, since we just started a new ante, I'm gonna do some light re-rolling. I'm not gonna do a whole lot. Here we've got the glass joker, bloodstone, does something similar to the idol here, but it's one in three instead of the guarantee, so we don't need that. Star, I'm gonna sell. Seltzer is spicy. And I'm not just talking about, you know, if you have a seltzer, it's a little bit spicy on the palate. But, uh, you know, whatever our campfire was doing, whatever kind of times 40 molt, uh, you know, also with the polychrome effect, that raises it to, you know, times 60 molt or whatever it is. This else is going to do more. The reason why this else is going to do more is because we've got blueprint, idol, brainstorm. Uh, we've got, you know, potentially class cards. All of those triggers re-triggered. All of those added together worth way more than this campfire. I said before, you know, our build couldn't possibly get any better. Uh, I was wrong. Shame on me. 
Uh, now I don't care about buying and selling because the campfire is gone. Okay. Uh, I will say this, you know, Dusk requires us to play hands. Seltzer, you know, goes away after we play a number of hands. And so, you know, this is going to be very short lived. This is going to last us for two rounds. And then immediately we're going to regret having sold our campfire. But, you know, 10 to the 37, we're here for glory. We're here to get, you know, not just this much, but much, much higher, if possible. All right, so let's look for those glass cards. Uh, I'll hold on to this justice uh, in case of emergency, in case I need to make a glass card. Uh, death will also do the same thing. All right, so I've got four glass cards here. Let's use up our hands. So we'll do the discarding. We got the fool. Uh, we drew the hand. So I don't need to use any of these. Uh, lucky me. I'm going to go ahead and use the fool for an heiress card. We only get to do this twice. We get to do it now. We get to do the next round. Then our seltzer is gone. So enjoy it, you know, while we got it. Did none of those break again? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. That's uh, 10 glass cards in a row. We didn't break any of them. Interesting. So, you know, I said before, uh, you know, that's the highest we're going to go. Uh, I lied. Here, this uh, 10 to the 80th power now. This is 80 zeros. Now this is actually, this is uh, the highest that we're going to go. Claim. Um, I don't have to worry about buying and selling stuff because like I said the campfire is gone uh, I could do a little bit re-rolling if I want maybe I'll get my polychrome card there's no way there's no way we get the polychrome king all right maybe some re-rolling Here's interesting. We got the Baron coming back around. We did this uh, in the beginning. So one of the reasons why we went for the Kings of Hearts is one, because of the Bloodstone gives you X Molt for all of your hearts. Two, the Baron gives you X Molt for all of your Kings in hand. And so that's kind of how we started off this run. But now we've reached a point where uh, you know, we're not able to hold that many kings in hand. And even with the red seal triggering this effect extra times, all of our scoring is coming from these re-triggers on our idol. So, Baron, I'm sorry, you are uh, outclassed at this stage of the game. Uh, I will. So these are kind of free. It doesn't cost me anything to buy and sell these planet cards. So I'm going to pick them up. Hoping to find more Eris cards. Uh, not like that. Mm, not there either. Hermit. Wheel. Maybe I could get another Polychrome. That'd be cute. Eris, there we go. 
So, you know, we got the telescope. We haven't seen a celestial pack since we got the telescope, but already we found, you know, plus four more of these Eris cards. So, you know, it's not that hard. You don't need the telescope. All right, uh, here we have the option for a negative tag, potentially a negative joker. Uh, it will be a random joker. Random joker becomes negative. There's not a whole lot that's gonna help us, so we're just going to play the round instead of skipping. Playing the round gives us access to another shop, another set of booster packs, you know, more opportunities to find something. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna save the glass cards. I'm gonna try to play without the glass cards and then see what happens. Right, we already got the high score. It's not gonna get any higher than that. Claim, it's not gonna get any higher than that. So let's throw away the purple ones, maybe some red ones. Wheel again. Cool, I guess. Uh, purple again. Before we do that, let's play the red ones. Save our discard for more purple seals. All right, we're on the final hand now. We can go ahead and get rid of the glass cards, get rid of the purple seals, get three tarot cards. Priestess. And here are our red seal cards with the last chance on the seltzer. So here's what it looks like without the glass cards. Glass cards was 10 to, 10 to the 80th. Without the glass cards, we've got 10 to the 59th. So definitely enough to win this round and the boss round and probably the next ante. Maybe not the next two antes, but at least the next one ante. Standard pack, no polychrome arcana pack. Uh, do I want two random or let's do Wheel of Fortune looking for more polychrome. And now I am looking for a replacement for my seltzer. You know, maybe another seltzer, maybe a showman I wouldn't hate. Uh, maybe that campfire will come back around for us. Uh, here, this is two times already, easy. Could be better. Uh, there's a polychrome, not the one that we were looking for. Mime copying our steel cards or you know this times three instead of times two we could take that uh, on average that's going to be better than the mime here here's another times two and i think that's going to be it i think that's uh you know all we can afford right now so we need to win this without the seltzer. So the seltzer, remember, was giving us idle plus idle plus idle. Mm. Yeah, we could probably do it. Right. Let's play just to be safe because I'm a coward. Uh, I'm gonna play one of the steel or one of the glass cards just to be safe 
and then discard the other ones. Okay. It's going to yell at me, but I do need to use my hands for my desk. So here we go. Not allowed. Too bad. <laughs> mm, something I'm curious about, if I play this glass card, it's not scored, so maybe it can't break. And then let's go ahead and the glass card, I want it on the left here for my hanging chad. Let's give that a try. I think we live. Oh yeah, we did it. You know, once we get past 20. Damn, that glass card still didn't break. So, what this has told me is that the seltzer is equal to whether or not I use the one glass card. And here we got it. We got the Invisible Joker. Invisible Joker could be another re-trigger, you know, would be similar to what we were doing with the seltzer. Uh, the best case scenario would be uh, Brainstorm or Blueprint. Give me another copy of the idol. Absolutely sign me up. I do need to survive three more rounds. Um, I think we should be fine. Um, something that's going to help us. You know, one of the challenges with going all in on one suit and one rank here. If we get the boss that debuffs all the hearts, it'll kill us. If it debuffs all of the face cards, it'll kill us. Um, but here, the director's cut that allows us to reroll the boss. Um, or, you know, some of the final bosses, there's one that messes up your jokers, disables your jokers. Uh, that could also kill us. All right, what are we looking for now? More planets, I guess. Now I'm not going to reroll anymore. I got the invisible joker. That was the only thing possible that could help my build. So I'm not going to reroll. I'm going to save my money. Go ahead and sell this. All right, 10 to the 43rd is what I need. Okay. Uh, let's see here, the one glass card with the re-trigger once, twice, three, four times. Uh, yeah, we could do it without the glass cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and discard these. Uh, if we die, very embarrassing, very unfortunate. But I think we can do it. I could calculate it, but it's just so tedious. I will say, you know, Two things that this run is missing for us to, you know, really go long. Um, one thing we're missing is, of course, you know, I never got my polychrome card. Um, that's totally fine. Um, I never got the interest vouchers. There's vouchers that increase your interest. And so here I'm using all of my hands so that I can activate my Dusk Joker. Um, I, so I'm not getting as much money per round, and it would have been nice to have the extra interest from the vouchers. Otherwise, you know, we're kind of stagnant on money here. But also, our build is kind of complete. There isn't really anything more that we can get, so maybe I don't really need the money. Uh, okay, don't need these. Two, three, four, five. This will work, right? 
the glass was, you know, 10 to the 57, and I need 43. Oh man, it's close, but we made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so 51, that means I'm good for this ante and probably the next one as well. So, open the packs. Celestial pack, Eris card, level 39. Go next. Uh, boss is cards drawn after they played, then they're face down. No problem. Discard our glass. Discard again here. Nice. I don't need death. Uh, I will start playing my hands. So I will say though, you know, even without uh, the interest vouchers, even without any jokers giving us money each round, we're about we we're able to get about fifty bucks. You know, just from the extra tarot cards. You know, occasionally you get a hermit, occasionally you get a temperance. And now let's discard the purple ones. Ah, look at that, another 20 bucks. And as long as we play the red ones, that's gonna be another uh, 51. Temperance, a little bit of money, standard pack, Arcana looking for more money, Temperance, no problem, 16 bucks, go next, one, two, three purple ones, two, um, let's start playing our cards first. Because they are going to be drawn face down, which is a little bit annoying. So just to kind of get out ahead of it, we'll play the cards now and then whatever face down ones we'll discard them. And you know, maybe we'll get some purple ones. So we can go ahead, here's five that I can discard. Give me some purple ones. Just one, that's totally fine. And as long as we have enough red ones, then also fine. You know, if we, sorry, let's look at the deck here. We got two purple ones left. We've got a couple of red ones left. If we had drawn, if we had ended up with, you know, only four red seals, I don't know, you know, we might not have made it. All right, we got the Invisible Joker. Uh, before I go to the shop, let's go ahead and use this. Uh, what are we hoping for? The best case, like I said, uh, Brainstorm or Blueprint or Copy of the Idol would be just as good. That's exactly what you want to see. All right, this is gonna be huge. I don't know how huge, but this is gonna be huge. Now, now our joker slots are really full. Now we, there isn't anything that we can reroll for. 
but you know maybe negative here 10 to the 51st okay oh no the plant all of our face cards are debuffed uh how about no uh base is halved easy peasy no problem okay uh here what i'm gonna try to do is let's go ahead and let's just play it without the glass cards just to see what it looks like so if i do let's do it this way play one of these I want to save my discards until after I draw more purple cards, like that. There we go, three purples, two glass I can get rid of. Hermit again. The three more purples. Perfect. And one more. So we can get the dusk online. And okay, we. So the new piece of technology, we've now got an extra idol. Uh, this extra idol copied by all of these re triggers. So before we were hitting 10 to the 51st without any glass cards. There we go, 10 to the 67th here. So if we're thinking about survivability, okay, we can survive this ante, survive this boss, and probably the next two antes without having to use any of our glass cards. So we'll just keep saving those for an emergency situation. And even though it's only $1, I don't really need to reroll. Yeah, <laughs> I really don't. Uh, we could get the plus hand size, plus hand size to potentially get the plus extra, you know, from the steel cards, potentially score more. Let's, oh dang. Where are those purple guys at? Let's discard all of these glass cards. Uh, you know, maybe I'll discard here. Yeah, there we go. Discard three and then discard three. Temperance. Play one of these. You know, maybe I could play two of these. Haven't played a pair in a while. That's kind of exciting. All right. And another 67. You know, while this is processing, uh, I want to remind folks, um, you know, just one of these idols on its own, times two, times two, times two, you know, gives you like times 32. Um, and then, you know, if you copy it with each of these re-triggers, each of those counts as another times 32, times 32, times 32. When it really starts to get crazy is when you have two of these idols, or, you know, up to four here with Blueprint and Brainstorm, 
and then so all of those stacked on top of each other and then re-triggered by each of these so for each idol that you have your dusk is doing more work and so the best combination instead of you know maybe i go all in on dusk and i just have the two idols um, it is better to spread it out and have sort of an even split four idols four re-triggers or something like that Standard pack. We got plenty of purple kings. Reroll. Why not? And base is halved. So, you know, your chips are halved. Your molt is halved. Our chips don't actually matter. So, our molt is half. So, we'll score about half what we were scoring before. Before we discard, let's go ahead and play a few hands. Go ahead and discard these glass cards that we don't need. Ooh, another wheel? Foil? Okay, that gives us an extra dollar from Temperance. Uh, discarding here, just three. And then playing the purple ones. I forgot how big we were getting. Uh, was it 67? Was that the number? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, 67 there. You know, not even phased by this half molt starting. Aha! Seed money. We get more interest money. Never hurts. Don't want that. Don't need any of those. Another seltzer we don't have room for. So we already have all of these. Playing a high card sets your money to zero. I think we can play pairs. I think we've got enough kings. We can play pairs, you know, to get our dusk online. So that's, you know, I'm not going to, you know, potentially re-roll this into a worse boss here. Uh, we need 59. We've been hitting consistently 67. So let's just blast right through this. I apologize. Uh, you know, at this point it does kind of get repetitive. I'm not sure how much of this you actually care to see. I guess if you're not interested, you can just skip around in the video. But, you know, for the purposes of documentation, uh, you know, this is the first run of its kind being recorded. So I'm going to show it all to you. How much was the previous blind? I don't remember. Was it like 53 or something like that? 51? And then now we're up to 59, so it went up by 8. 
So, you know, maybe the next ante, it'll be bigger than, you know, we might need some glass cards. I don't know. You know, I don't think we'll live forever, you know, but we could live for a pretty dang long time, seems like. Or at least that's what the plan is. Okay. Look at me, taking game actions. Man, I am tired though. Uh, I will say, you know, we've been on this same run, this one run for like six hours. <laughs> Uh, we will go. We will go the distance. We will see uh, how long we can survive. But it might be a while. Seems like the the blinds are catching up. I think they gotta be catching up. <laughs> Exciting possibility here, Spectral Pack. What am I hoping to see? I want Ectoplasm. I want one of my Jokers to be negative. If I get a negative Joker, if I get another Joker slot, that means potentially we could go bigger. Ah, uh, no Ectoplasm. Uh, we don't need the Red Seal. We got plenty already. Uh, we don't need anything that's not a King, so sad. Not that sad, you know, not unexpected. This baseball card, one, two, three, four, five uncommons. That's pretty good. But for, you know, what we're working on right now, it's pretty bad. All right, we can't play high card. I'm not giving up my 300 bucks. So, Let's play pairs. And we don't have that many cards in the deck. And I do need to play enough pairs to turn on my dusk here. So let's be careful here. You know, probably what we're gonna do. Uh, let's. I mean, I definitely want to discard these four. Let's do that. Uh, do I want an heiress card or 14 bucks? Let's get the 14 bucks with the fool. Heiress is already, you know, 1800 chips for the flush five is big enough. Doesn't matter. All right, discard. Again, wheel, foil, you know, if it's not polychrome, foil is the second best that we can get. I mean, it doesn't really do anything, but it is the second best, technically second best. Uh, we've got six cards left, which means I can play, here's one pair. One more pair and then discard the glass cards. Is that what it looks like? So here's one more pair. I'm gonna draw into some purple cards. Uh, 
uh, two left in the deck. So it doesn't really matter. Let's discard one, two. And then play the regular ones. So something that we haven't done, now that we got the second idol, or, you know, an additional idol, we haven't done the five glass with the new idol. So maybe I'm trying to do that at some point in the future. Some point here soon. Money tree raises our interest to, we get $20 interest per round, that's huge. You know, I was just complaining about we hadn't gotten that technology, but now we do. Let's just one time re-roll. No problem. Buffoon pack also, no problem. Take a look at the next round. Okay. This is slightly awkward. On the mouth, we only get to play one Hand type. Uh, do I have? Can I play? Can I play five flush houses? Technically, yes. Is possible? We must consider. We must think about this. Uh, okay, that's one option. Uh, what's another option? Another option is. We don't use the Dusk. We just play, you know, maybe the all glass hand. Will that beat this? Maybe. Let's, I think we can do better. Psychic must play five cards. Uh, that's fine. That's completely fine. Okay, we do need, okay, this is 10 to the 68th, so I do need to use at least one glass card. I'm gonna to try to use all the glass cards. I'm gonna to try to score as high as I can right now. So what does that look like? I've got two glass cards here. Discard three. Three glass cards. Let's play some of the red ones. All right, so we do have four glass cards. Should be easy for me to find the last one. Let's try discarding two purple ones. Let's try, if I discard these, I'll draw four, sure. Okay, so we did get all of the glass cards. Let's play these two, trying to draw my last two red cards. Um, though I'll probably get, you know, like a split. One purple, one red, maybe. Yeah, and now, for science, this is what it looks like. Five glass cards, we've got the extra idol here, fire in the hole. Ten to the eighty-third. Uh, that's not that much bigger than we had ten to the eightieth before, and I think the difference there is we had uh, the seltzer, and so instead of seltzer, we had the idol. So again, you know, not much difference there between having another retrigger or having another idol to then get copied by your retrigger jokers. Uh, we didn't break any glass guards. That's that's 15, 16 glass cards in a row. We haven't broken any. 
Interesting. Hey, if they're not gonna break, then we can keep going. We could go here and just go next. Spectral pack. Mm. I'm kind of into that. Spectral pack, I kind of want that, right? Because I want uh, Arcana packs, I don't really need anymore. Uh, the standard packs haven't really been giving me what I want. Uh, Celestial packs, I don't really need anymore. Uh, Jokers in shop, I don't really need anymore. You know, I already have all of these things. So really, the thing that I want is Ectoplasm or Aura. Aura, so I can, you know, potentially make some Polychrome cards that way. Do it the hard way. So, this is better than a shop. Let's go ahead and do that. You know, for example, Aura. Uh, how do I want to slice this? Do I want to put it on the glass one? Because that's going to be the big scoring one. Or do I put it on the regular one? Let's go regular for now, and I can always change my mind later. You know, we've seen the ability to make lots of tarot cards. You know, I could always turn it into glass. Foil is... Maybe not even that bad, you know, with all of these re-triggers that could be, you know, I could get more than a couple hundred, you know, maybe even thousands of chips if I have all of my cards foil. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try to make that happen. All right, we got to play five cards. Well, it doesn't say anything about our discard, so we'll go ahead and discard those for some tarot cards. All right, let's, all right, it's gonna be mad, but that's okay. I just wanna use up all my hands. Uh, with the four glass, uh, I do wanna save one. I said, you know, we can get 10 to the 67th without any glass. So with the glass cards, or to get 68, I do need at least one glass card. So let's do it like this we'll play one more we'll play two more okay we didn't get the purple ones and one two three four five glass card on the left because of the hanging chad this will definitely be enough So, yeah, something to pay attention to there. Uh, we got 67 without the glass card. We got 71 with the glass card, so that's another plus four. You know, that's another uh, 10,000 times. And so, you know, each additional glass card is gonna be like that. So another glass card is another 10,000 times, another 10,000 times. So whatever the next ante is, you know, here it's 68, uh, if the next you know, small blind is, I don't know, 75 or something like that, I can calculate how many glass cards I'm going to need. All right, we've got the upgraded voucher for the boss reroll. So now if you get a bad one, you can just keep going, keep rerolling forever, as long as you've got money, which we do. Spectral pack, that's just about the only thing that can help us at this point. But this is not the technology that I'm looking for. Last minute standard pack. We are okay, 77. So 71 with one glass card up from 67 to 71. We said that's plus four. Uh, in order to get 77, I'm going to need. Three glass cards total? That's what it is, it's three glass cards total. All right, let's do it. All 
Uh, so maybe something like this. Looking for my glass cards. Uh, I do got, I have my three glass cards. Let's go ahead and play our hands for Dusk. Alright, so what we said is three glass cards. That should take us over 77. You know, we could play more to play it safe, but uh, I think we should be fine. Starting to doubt, starting to get concerned. Oh, he's done it! Look at that. That's uh, they call it. That's why I'm a mythologist. So you know, there. If we had just the two glass cards, would not have been enough. Four glass cards, too many. Uh, did they? Did we break one finally? One, two, three, four, five. Still. These glass cards, they gotta be indestructible. We haven't broken one this entire time. Aura again, okay, okay. So now we're in the situation where we need glass cards to survive. So let's go ahead and put the aura on our glass card. Foil, fine. <laughs> Uh, we don't need the seal. Uh, I can't afford the immolate here. You know, we already have just barely enough cards to sort of play all of our hands for our dusk. There is that, uh, sorry, the previous foil that we made. Death card, I do want so that I can make a copy of my glass card. See, this is a stinker. This crimson heart here disables a random joker. If it disables any of these, we're dead. So we're gonna have to re-roll that one. Uh, speaking of re-rolling, let's do some rolling in the shop. Uh, potentially, I want a fool or justice to make more glass cards to, you know, potentially copy this death card here. Uh, relatively inexpensive rerolls. Everything's free. Buy and sell for free. Wheel. We used the wheel before. We got the polychrome campfire and immediately sold the campfire. Wheel again. Okay, there's another justice for another glass card. Apparently our glass cards are indestructible. So before we, you know, do anything, uh, before we, you know, have the shop after this round here, let's go ahead and reroll now. Debuff until one joker sold. I can't afford that. Uh, very large blind. Uh, you think that might be kind of large, but... You know, if we go here, our best, we could do 83. So technically I can do 78. Though that might be it for us. That might be the end of our journey and that's okay. Let's, I'm gonna play the red ones first. 
I want to try to draw those that I'm trying to make copies of. So like this, for example, foil, now glass, glass, foil, I can get rid of one of these purple ones. Uh, do I need to use my glass cards right now to get 77? We said it was three glass cards. Three glass cards is what I need. I'm going to discard these foil glass cards because I've got other glass cards that I can use. There's my other three glass cards that I need. So I can go ahead and discard this one. Play, let's see here, I've got nine cards left, so I might as well play a pair. Here, discarding. And this should do it just fine. Three glass cards, two steel cards. If this doesn't work, I have leftover, you know, two, that's it. <laughs> if this doesn't work, that's it. But I said three glass cards, so it better work. Worked last round, right? We got 5.1 or something like that. So we can get 4.8 here. Yikes. <laughs> we just barely did it. Okay, calculated. You know, three glass cards was correct. All right, we did break some, so what do we got left? We got one, two, three of these foil glass cards, two of these regular glass cards. That is the hand. That is what we're trying to do. Uh, in the meantime, Celestial, oh, I get to do Black Hole first, upgrade all hands, Eris, give me another plus one. Uh, by the way, since the Black Hole, it's technically a Spectral card, even though you get in a Celestial pack, it's a Spectral card, you can't use the Fool on it. Nothing here for me. Uh, potentially, let's look for a Death card potentially so if I'm looking for death I'm gonna do it this way why did I do that I didn't need to do that Ooh, but we got a wheel Bloodstone. Remember, what I said uh, you know earlier on in this you know now six-hour marathon or whatever it is, uh, we did start out with this. That's why we went for the Kings of Hearts in particular. Um, but now that we have the idol, we don't need it anymore. These don't need to be hearts. These could be something else. All right, very large blind my butt. this card uh, I do need to find the glass ones so let's discard four discard another four okay so out of eight here if I play four and I discard four then we're fine so let's go ahead and play all right we drew our glass cards go ahead and discard
All right, the ideal scenario, I wanna draw a purple one first, discard it, or sorry, yeah. Purple one first, and then, you know, the second one red. Uh, okay, I want a red one. The difference is only, you know, times 1.5, but show me another red one. Okay. Let's check out how does this foil now plus 50 chips, you know, with all these re-triggers here starting at 2,000 chips. Let's see how high we can get with the foil. Though, you know, I will point out since we're playing on the plasma deck, uh, it doesn't actually matter. You know, these foil cards, the chips don't matter. The only thing that matters is our molt um, gets divided evenly. But for science, you know, in the future, we could keep track of this. We could see. So starting from 2000, we got an extra thousand chips, basically. So, you know, all this together, that's the same as times 1.5, which is nothing. <laughs> 83, that's, that's gotta be it. That's gotta be the limit for us. Uh, we still have, we lost one glass card. Very sad, unfortunate. But I think this is gonna be it. We're in anti 25 now. We were just barely scraping by here at 78. So, I don't know what we could get. What would even help? <laughs> Seltzer? We already have that technology. Uh, death card, copying another glass. Yeah, I kind of, I need that. E level 49, flush five. It's not that much different from 48. Uh, even if this is polychrome, wouldn't really matter that much. There we go, level 50. Ah, there was the showman. Showman's a little bit too late. It's a little bit too late to try to get, you know, like I said, another brainstorm or blueprint. Also, we already got the idol. So, you know, this is about as good as it gets as far as the jokers go. Um, here's another glass card since we lost one. 87. That's it. We're toast. Uh, we'll still try to, we'll still play it out. We'll do our best, but we're not going to get 87. I'll tell you right now. There's no way. All right, uh, here are our four glass cards. We have one more glass card here with the justice. Did we use too many cards? We we got the discard voucher, right? And so we got an extra discard and maybe we discarded too many cards. That's kind of awkward. No, I think we'll be fine. We've got four left. Purple. Oh, you know what we haven't been doing? What we could have been doing this whole time? I don't have to discard. I could just save it. And so, you know, once I have my red ones, I don't need the, this purple one. So let's go ahead and make glass. This will be the same hand that we just played. It will not be enough to save us. But we'll run it out one last time just for posterity.
that's gonna be it for us. That is a uh, random seed right here. I'll copy it and I'll put it in the Bellatro Discord for folks there and you know in the description of this video. Uh, the best hand we're able to come up with was 10 to the 84th. We are able to reach anti 25 by beating anti 24. Discarded 900 cards. We played 465 cards. Anyway, uh, you know, all this uh, endless mode uh, is some silly stuff. So, you know, good luck out there. Good luck with your own Bellatro adventures. And I'll see you in the next one.